All right, what if we see something that says distinguishable permutations? Um, there's a chance that you may have watched uh, the other video that I've made on permutations, but this word distinguishable is a different type of permutation. So let's go ahead and, and look at the formula. If I have a distinguishable, distinguishable permutation, sometimes when you say a word too much, it's hard to pronounce it, uh, the n factorial on the top, this n factorial on the top represents the total number of objects that you have. So right here, this one is the total objects. Now when you have distinguishable permutations, lots of times what ends up happening is that on the bottom here, see how we've got n sub 1 factorial, n sub 2 factorial, n sub 3 factorial, all the way until n sub k. This just means however many different types of objects. So this would be uh, the factorials for the types of objects. The best way to understand this is to just look at an example. So let's take a look at this example down here. A contractor wants to plant six oak trees, nine maple trees, and five poplar trees along a subdivision street. The trees are to uh, the trees are to be spaced evenly apart. This should say to be spaced evenly apart. And how many distinguishable ways can they be planted? So there's that key word. You've got to look for these key words. When you say distinguishable, how many tells you that you're either going to go with a permutation or a combination, but when you see distinguishable ways they can be planted, you want to go with this formula that we have right here. Okay, where n on the top is the total number of objects, and each one of these is the total uh, the the number the total number of objects for each type of object. So let's take a look here. I've got um, six oak trees, nine maple trees, and five poplar trees. So how many do I have all together? I have six, nine, and five. 6 plus 5 is 11, and 11 plus 9 is 20. So in, so if I start to fill in this formula, the total number n factorial is 20 factorial. Okay, now let's go to the, the each individual object, or in this case, trees. So I want to divide this by the product of n sub 1 factorial. Well, I have six oak trees. That means this would be six factorial times n sub 2. I have nine maple trees. So this would be nine factorial. And then finally, I have five poplar trees. And that would be five factorial. There are no other trees. And you should notice that these values down here, 6 plus 9 plus 5, all add up to 20. So, and this is 20 on the, in, in the numerator, so th things match up. This is good. So far, so good. Now, trying to find all of these is going to be fairly difficult. I do not want to, to write out 20, and this is going to take a while, 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 all the way down to times 1 and then do the same thing for 6 factorial, 9 factorial, and 5 factorial. So let's use technology. We have technology. It is a tool that for most of us is readily available. So let's use technology. On our calculator, we can use and find um, factorial. So I want to take 20 factorial and you go math and then go to number all the way over to probability and then look down here at number four. Okay, So you go to your math menu and then go arrow over to the menu where it says probability and you want number four. So there it is, 20 factorial. And we're going to divide that by our other three, 6 factorial, 9 factorial, 5 factorial. Bring our calculator back up. Let's do this in parentheses. Let's put the, the denominator in parentheses. So here we go. 6 math probability number 4, 6 factorial times 9 factorial, math probability number 4 gives us our factorial, 
times 5 factorial. Close my parentheses, and when I hit enter, there we go. Oh, wow. That is a huge number. So you can see why I wouldn't want to... You definitely see why I wouldn't want to multiply that out by hand. That is a crazy amount of way, distinguishable ways to plant these trees. So this, let's type our answer out in a complete sentence. There are, what would this be? One, two, three, one, two, three, seventy-seven million five hundred ninety-seven thousand five hundred twenty distinguishable ways to plant the trees. There we go. So there's an example of how to use permutations for distinguishable permutations. Look for those key words. Distinguishable. How many distinguishable ways? And you can use this formula, and once you set the formula up, please just use technology to get the final number of ways. There's your little mini lesson on distinguishable permutations.